it was so fun to work on. You know, he sends me this track, and I was just like, oh, my God. You got to you gotta man up and go for it, you know? It is time. So we're listening to Mark Letiri, Star Catchers. Um, this is a really good buddy of mine. We've been playing together. I think he joined my band when he was about 22 years old. Mm. And uh, then he went on to uh, be a key member of Snarky Puppy. And uh, now and he also has uh, you know, climbed the charts as a solo artist. This is a record that was nominated for a Grammy. And it features the great Steve Lukather from Toto. And it features myself on, on horns and horn mm. arrangement and trumpet. And uh, this is one of my favorite songs. I love Mark. He's hilarious and uh, just a really good dude and one of the finest guitar players on the planet. All right. Well, let's get into it here in Galaxy Jams Reacts. Rockin'. Huh, it's already going to be a great video, I can tell. Such an interesting guitar part. The horns were fierce. Great guitar tone. Sounds like Joe Satriani. A little bit of a slappy reverb. The horns nice. sound great. Huge. Let's go. So driving. So good. Like doesn't it's like relentless. Thinking it. I can't wait to see where this goes. Mike, what do you think? I love how new age this is, but mm -hmm. it's really grounded in classic sentimentality, right? When the song starts, I mean, it sounds like a swinging song, like in a well-trodden path in a well-trodden genre. But the more that the song unfolds, the more that you can see that you guys are kind of putting like your own personalities into it. Mm -hmm. And you're putting like a lot of different, you know, ideas that aren't really normally included in this genre, especially like that uh, change that just happened. It was like this huge jump. And I really appreciate how you're really stretching out the horn so it's almost like you're playing it like like it's not a horn like it's you're writing it oh. as if it's like its own other instrument Absolutely. i try to think outside the box you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and when you were stretching out that one really really long note like the high, that, the yeah, high, the high yeah. long note it was it was it was a, a great choice i love the sound of those uh what is the te what's the technical term for that high note Oh man, I don't know. It's uh, just yeah, just that high. Just, maybe just like a, like a sometimes we sometimes we call it screaming. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah like I that love, overarching, that. like, because while the yeah. whole band is kind of like doing another lap around, mm-hmm. the constant is like that long, like high scream, like you said, and that's yeah. what's like keeping like the it's tied it momentum, together. right? Like the mm-hmm. keeping it like that that exactly. rage going. It's so it's such an like, interesting song, like the 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 different textures and the different uh styles of playing coming together it's like mixing like you're putting an outfit together and you're mixing a bunch of different patterns together mm-hmm. and they might seem un- unlikely uh-huh. but when you bring them all together like the the almost tension and the some of the dissonant chords with like the the guitar in the beginning and then you you had mentioned mike like that kind of joe satriani almost style and flavor of mm-hmm. guitar playing which i would never have, have paired with like the the beautiful like uh horn tones like it's just the three those three elements together for me like i never would have put them together but right it, but right it's, right and it makes something that's greater than the sum of its parts for me well i think that marx is yeah. really influenced by joe satriani from what i remember oh, like, big jo- time. yeah like joe satriani and like steve Vai. it's so true you yeah. like once big you said time. it and it, it's really really and great we, sound go ahead and we gotta give we gotta give props to one of my favorite drummers i've been playing with him recording with him he's a dallas-based drummer also plays with Snarky Puppy, and he plays uh, with Mark Letiri's trio. His name is Jason J.T. Thomas, mm-hmm. and he is shuffling the shit oh. out of this. Yeah. And, <laughs> That's a good um, <laughs> you've also heard J.T. on records like um, uh, Roy Hargrove and the R.H. Factor. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. So, yeah, nice. J.T. is one of the absolute baddest in the world. Oh, yeah. I've, every time I watch Snarky Puppy, um, I've always – everybody in Snarky Puppy – uh, always top of the game, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, and I've always enjoyed that. So, yeah, he's totally killing it. I love the video for this, too. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. It fits. Uh, it's it's fine. a cool, yeah. kind of like really, uh, really cool, like uh, media collage animation. Yeah, almost um, like a clip art clip art yeah, film yeah like you got chickens and space shuttles and av- space yeah. avocados yeah <laughs> that's great <laughs> i love it so I, uh, I was so happy for him that he was dominated for i think it was a uh, best contemporary instrumental album or something like that and yeah, uh, yeah. i was just really really proud of him man because you know i remember the first time he jumped on stage with me he's 22 years old and uh-huh. somebody recommended him and i was like oh um, okay this kid and it was this kid, and he got up, and I, I just stopped playing. I was just like, I can't even, I can't even do, I can't even sing. I can't sing my song. I just, I just, we played like a three minute intro, and I'm just nice. listening to this kid play. And uh, yeah, man, one, one of a kind. Wow, wow, Hell yeah. Uh, did, did you meet Mark at the college in Texas, like around in there, or, or how, did, how did that happen? N- neither one of us went to that college oh, to okay. North Texas. Um, he was just on the scene in Fort Worth. And I was on the scene, uh, and this was after college for me, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, and he was just playing around, just naturally talented, and I was working and, and music musical director at churches and playing, in, you know, whatever kind of gigs I could get my hands on. And I was mm-hmm. starting to do recording and arranging, and I had this, you know, I was writing songs and singing and, and just kind of goofing around with my buddies, and we were playing in Deep Ellum a lot for free, and... Um, and I needed a guitar player, and somebody was like, "Check this kid out." And you know, at the time, I was like surrounding myself with just like the blackest musicians I could find <laughs> in Dallas, because I just wanted to—I wanted that to, to you know, to uh, impress on me. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I was learning and, and just trying to be a sponge. And somebody was like, "Yeah, it's this white kid." And I was like, "White kid?" Mm. And they're like, "No, no, 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 no. Trust me. Like, you want—he's—he's you, he's dope." And <laughs> and yeah, he was. <laughs> Yeah, 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 thank definitely. you so much for that. Let's jump back in. Nice bass, too. Oh, sick. Ooh, man. Man, that's Hell so wild. yeah, dude. You're leading it. Yeah. I like that they're doing the animation to your horns, too. That's pretty sweet. Huge. See, I'm telling you, you wouldn't expect that to come right up that horn part. But it's so right. 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 It's so great. It fires all of your synapses. This video is great. Like Defender.
nice. Yeah. Y'all are giving me exactly what I want right now. It's great. That was beautiful. Man, so you got a great swagger. Oh, yeah, dude. This is getting deep. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Taking me to church during the rock show. So good. Nice. Oh, oh. man. I feel like it just wow. learned something. Yeah, I just was, learned something. Yeah, so I feel cool. like I just went, went to school right there. You know? See, it, says on, it says on there, Philip Lasseter and the filthy horns, they were filthy. Yeah. They were, just, <laughs> they were wonderfully filthy. Yeah, and I uh, you're really, really good at straddling that line between too much and not enough. Like, it's you're just perfect. so yeah. perfectly putting it in there where the horns just open things up. Like, I mm-hmm. feel like the song is like, you know, a curtain, and your horns is like grabbing the curtain and then like, opening the whole thing right yeah. and it's so good the it's way bad. that you're able to really like uh keep it going like c- like your um, horns like it was like you were doing this thing and then the guitar came and as good as that guitar was the horn section was propelled like even it was just so good man you're really really doing a good job brought the fire mm-hmm. you know and that's a oh, very man. good point like i feel like sometimes was... when you get really brilliant like sometimes you forget how to how to just uh, simple pleasures and so like when you have all the props like sometimes people have to throw all the props at you and like uh-huh. and sometimes you lose that touch of like let me just take it back to something we can all agree upon and i love it when in those moments in this song where y'all just bring it in it's like no this is something that everybody's going to like right yeah here. Mm-hmm. it's awesome it's wild. yeah man it was so fun to work on you know he sends me this track and i was just like oh my god you gotta, you gotta man up and go for it, you know. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, beautiful. it's. It really sounded like you were giving it all you had in the performance and in also the writing, and it really, really uh, took the song to a whole another level. And uh, it's no wonder uh, this song is earning such a prestigious accolade. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yeah, yeah. It was an honor. Congratulations on that. Thanks, uh, fellas. Hi, this is Mike with Galaxy Jams Reacts. We hope that you enjoyed that react video. Be sure to check out the links below of when we're going to be live streaming our next show and also how to watch full episodes. Please hit that subscribe button. Every single one helps.